Hello, what's up, everybody? Uh, Belford. Uh, I'm here. I'm your host, the Belford. Um, uh, what a good start to the night already. Um, I'm joined by my loveliest of lovely co-hosts, uh, Miss Kelsey Kirkland. How you doing, Kelsey? I'm doing good. It's been a while since I've been on. I'm super excited to talk about Schmo Down and not just Loki shows for a little while. So <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to have a ticker of how many uh, Loki references Kelsey makes during the show. Um, <laughs> Loki Press Tour 2021. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Um, tonight we have a, a fantastic show after a, another fantastic week in the Schmodown. Uh, more crazy things going on, as always, in the Schmodown this week. Um, and we also have a, a third co-host this evening. We haven't had one of those in a while. You know him from uh, Twitch Tuesdays and also from the best, the best uh, interview show on the internet, No Chill. He's the one, the only, Mr. Nat Vu. Nat in the house. What's up, Nat? Does Kelsey like Loki? I had no idea. She never talks about it. Um, yeah. yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's been a while since I've been on Call Live. I haven't had a fantasy update in a while because my my team's really been letting me down lately so i've have been on but yeah i'm here now <laughs> happy to be here there we go in the flesh not just pre-recorded nat Vu. that's that's yeah. a, an accomplishment yes. uh we, we brought you on because you know we, one of our guests is from queens so you know you know more, more most about queens of any of us so uh <laughs> all i know about queens is uh 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 coming to america that's about all i know about that's queens that's pretty much uh, like <laughs> you know, that's Spider-Man, yeah, that's true. portrayal. <laughs> uh, but speaking of our uh, of our guest from Queens tonight, we have the one, the only Frankie, the Animal Alvarez, coming in hot from Queens via Jersey. <laughs> What's up, Frankie? <laughs> you know, I was going to put on my leather jacket, but it's a little late over here, and if I put it on, I might fall asleep in it, and. Uh... You know, that thing squeaks, you know, I would, I wouldn't want to wake up my wife or, or my child and uh, get myself into more trouble than I probably already am. <laughs> Hello. It's like the equivalent of the, of the pants that, that uh, George gets in Seinfeld that squeak everywhere. Exactly. Walks, exactly. Like. I mean, hold on. What's this about uh, talking Loki? I could talk Loki. I want to talk Loki. No, Kelsey, we're we're, we'll, we'll talk on the side. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll chat yeah. a little bit on the side. Yeah. Right you can catch uh, one of the seven shows that Kelsey's on every day of the week talking about Loki. Um, <laughs> maybe they'll bring you on one of those seven shows. I has. mean, I'm here. I'm ready. Uh, I'm willing and able. Thanks for having me, guys. Hey. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Hey, we love you. Friend of the show. We always love you when you're on, Frankie. Um, we also have another guest this evening. Um, she is the one... The only, the delightful, the amazing, the fantastic, the, I don't even know how many adjectives to use to describe her. Miss Jess Schloth. Jess, what's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sleepy, too. You know, a little late. Here as well, well. you are the sleeper. It, it makes sense yeah. that she would be sense. sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> guys, just, guys um, yeah. For the people watching, just just beforehand told me not to be mean to her. I think she thinks that I'm some like some bully that's gonna like get her on here and just absolutely roast her. <laughs> just don't, well, don't know what to expect I, sometimes. After she uh, destroyed your household um, during the match, uh, you know, maybe she's thinking there's gonna be some vengeance. <laughs> no, no vengeance on my part. I I am a I'm not I'm I'm a nice person. I like to think. <laughs> Didn't know if you're mad of at me from the promo or whatnot. That promo flamed me. Flamed me. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good. Thank you. I, I love Jess's promos because it's like you don't expect it, A, because she's so nice. And then it's the it's very understated. It's very just like matter of fact. So it makes you believe that what she's saying is true. <laughs> That's it. I mean, she doesn't need to say a lot. It, it a did lie. happen, it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, so we, uh, we're going to get into your match today. It was the best uh, sudden death match of the week by far. Um, you know, much better than any other sudden death matches that occurred this week. Uh, Frankie, we're going to start with you. A big week this week for uh, your faction. You know, you got it started right, and then your uh, the Mr. Clean cleanup hitter, uh, Ethan Irwin, brought it home. How was that for you guys? I mean, great. You know, we, we were really excited coming into this week. Um, 
you know, because uh, I think f- more so than anything is we wanted opportunities to continue to prove ourselves. Um, I think, uh, you know, as, as a faction, we've all been working really, really hard together. And as individuals, we've been working hard too. So uh, it's always nice to get the opportunity to, you know, uh, show people that, hey, you know, points, yes, may not have been in our favor over the last couple of uh, weeks or months, uh, but we're still here. We're still a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, uh, you can you can count us out as much as you would like. We're going to come back, you know, s- you know, swinging as hard as we can. Nice, nice. Uh, Jess, how was your, uh, how was your week with your faction getting right, you know, prepping for your match or, well, I guess this was pre-recorded, so maybe not this week, but, you know, heading into the match, how are you guys feeling? Yeah, everyone kind of helped me out different ways, um, at different times. Like I'm so mad at myself because literally the night before I went through with Rachel, both, um, Adam Sandler and wrestlers in films like he might be good at those and I still didn't remember it anyways so that's fun <laughs> but um, I tried please oh yeah I mean that was a tough one for sure especially because as soon as they as soon as they said the great Kali Frankie's already writing the answer like so like the pressure yeah. was definitely on if if it was I like if it was any other wrestler, I mean he is such like if for people that watch wrestling they know who the great Kali is, but it's kind of tough like the name at least you know he's a very obvious you know when you see him he's a pretty imposing yeah. physical specimen, um, but that that's one of those tough ones because it, it, it I guarantee it could have been any other wrestler and Jess would have gotten it that that's a really 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 I mean we've seen wrestlers in film in now multiple sudden death rounds like different questions and i got those right just not <laughs> mine so <laughs> great yeah the, the, i mean he's not a, a household name or anything he's like if you see him you know what he looks like but like you don't like the yeah. name doesn't really, really jump out at you yeah yeah i mean hey at least you didn't you didn't miss a stone cold steve austin question so you know you got that over other people <laughs> That one, that one was that one was rough, man. Uh, Ethan three sixteen though, he showed up and he said, "I'm gonna whoop your ass." <laughs> Give me <laughs> hell, yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> That's my best cold impression. I don't understand that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Is this gonna be me? Oh. Oh. Out the wrestling all show. I got my yeah. my old my old nineties wrestling figures down here. I could start breaking those oh. some some of those out. I'll just sit here and look oh. pretty then. Yeah, we'll just smile and nod. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I actually have a question for I have a question for Jess, and I don't mean to step on anyone's toes, but Jess, that that promo, stellar. Um, a lot of sloth, uh, uh, you know, like uh, apparel and stuffed yeah. animals. Are you are you a sloth fan? Maybe I'm late to the party and I don't know this stuff, but are you like? Is that like your favorite animal? It's my favorite animal, yeah, and it's kind of like a joke on. My last name because when people mispronounce it some people have straight up just said sloth as like that's how they read it um and it's sloth but i also just like sloths a lot and their energy um there you go and yeah my mom also so like we've just both as like collective had a lot of sloth. like anytime we see it something in the store be like oh that's cute like i have cups <laughs> and socks and all kinds of things I, I did really like the uh, the duality of you guys during the match of the backgrounds because Frankie has his like all of his figurines and everything, and then Jess just has a so- handmade sign that says Ladybird, and it was it's so great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I I've switched because I got a roommate now, and that was in my extra room that I had. But yeah, that was my I was pretty proud of my little background that I like handmade. <laughs> I, I was waiting for a Ladybird question to come up or about like who directed Ladybird and because you were wearing the My shirt, shirt, you had it behind <laughs> you, and I was like, This is this be a free point. Well, I worry with like the stickers on my board. I'm like, what if I get asked a movie like about like a s- sticker that's clearly there and then I get it wrong? Like how embarrassing that is. Yeah. I was thinking about that too. Like I have a couple th- like movie things up here, you know, behind me. And just like, what would happen if they asked a question about, you know small soldiers for instance because i have i have some of the figurines from small soldiers like if i turned around and looked and then looked back would i get like 
docked a point or like get accused of cheating or something. I mean, I already got oh, accused I mean, of cheating, but <laughs> it's a showdown. They, they, if your eyes don't like, you know, immediately stay locked in on one place, they accuse. Yeah, you do of I have to do like at what? Adam went right. He he like just stares at like them. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Wait, Jess, you got to accuse of cheating? No, I just comments. I read the comments. I read all of them. Oh, so. listen, yeah. big mistake, huge. Never. It's I don't fine. even read the live comments during our show. <laughs> I'm my biggest critic, anyways. So. Oh. But yeah, so. Uh, how did you guys feel? Uh, so coming out of round one, it's it's Frankie's up by one. Um, you know, Frankie kicking himself because he mixed up uh, the Golden Compass and Stardust, and which he apparently is a thing for you. Um, but how are you guys feeling coming out of round one? Uh, well, the other question, the Tropic Thunder question, I got wrong. I like. I do this thing sometimes where I'll if there's a lot of names they list, I'll just like forget one of them mm -hmm. and like. So I just got stuck on like Jack Black and Danny McBride. I'm like, what are, what are they in together? And mm -hmm. I was, so that's what happened. I forgot the other people were in it. I've seen it multiple times. My dad loves that movie, but it's very it's fine. good. He very good movie. <laughs> Very good movie. Yeah, I mean, I've said it again. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Uh, Stardust and Golden Compass. If they were their own wheel slices, I'd be in big time trouble because they are one movie to me. Uh, I can't differentiate between the two. You can tell me an actor that's in one, both, or neither, and I would have no clue. Um, I've seen every other movie in the world except for Stardust and the Golden Compass. So every movie ever. Every every single movie ever, Jess. <laughs> uh but yeah i i was kicking myself in the butt because i actively said to myself and jess i think i think you used a jte on that question yeah and i i i waited until like the second reading of the question to write my answer down and i said to myself like i'm, I'm putting golden compass but if it's the other one i'm gonna be pissed and then i also said like i should if i put stardust and it's the other one i'm gonna be pissed so either way it was a lose-lose for me and she gave you more time to, to to kind of like ruminate over it and like have to think about it. Even that happened to me going. in my first match too with Beth. Like I rewatched it and I could see she was about to get a re ask for a review too. And I'm like, keep jumping the gun on these. Like just let them say it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. I, I just like I was like, oh yeah, okay. And, you know, it was just it went for it. I was like, okay, I'll take the time, but. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was. I was really frustrated just because, like I said, I. I always. It's. It's one of those two movies, you know. And I should have. I should have gotten it with with Charlie Cox uh, and Robert De Niro because I love both of them quite a bit. But yeah. I will say with the Home Alone question, I relied on. Um, I so like I was like kind of guessing that in my head and then you like went straight for it. And I was like, that would be something he would go straight to. So I'm like, I think this <laughs> <laughs> like, it's funny in like study sessions, Peggy will say like, she's like, I heard two, like one more, like, like she like listens for the pen marks too. So that's a little trick. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that works. I mean, I, my, not that my, I heard you write it. It's just, no, like, I, I know, I know. Person, you know what I, mean? I know. I mean, I, you know, my son watch has probably seen him Home Alone one like 400 times at this point. So if I would have missed that after they put Uncle Frank and Marvin there, I would have had like, I would have been sleeping in the backyard right now because <laughs> I would have been in a whole lot of trouble. But, that's a, that's an interesting. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to like pay attention to the other person, and, like read them, and yeah. see what as soon as they start writing something down. Especially because it, like I I can usually when we're studying together, I can guess sometimes answers based on like say like Rachel gets really excited to like write something down. Yeah. And I'm like what is Rachel like? Like what would she write? So that's that's an interesting question. Uh, I you know you don't have to, you know, reveal, I guess your prep if you don't want to, but like, was there anything that you anticipated that I was going to be? Because I, I personally, I think I've done a good job of kind of masking like what my strengths or weaknesses are. Um, do you, was there anything that you were planning for in terms of what you thought I would be, you know, a, be a strength of mine? Because for you, I, I, I planned for young adult, and 
uh, what was the other one? I thought, um, I think rom coms uh, were the the That's two that I like. I I, possibly, I don't, I don't know. I also kind of cross reference. I think that was on the the wheel with Beth, wasn't it? I don't think so. No, oh, and then and then I messed up, but. Uh, young adult. I, did I, like the, I loved our wheel. Like I got a very basic, like in broad category, and I was like happy with it. But I was like, some of these other ones could have been fun. But yeah, yeah. I mean, sticking with 2010s was genius on your part because that that's that's such a new, fresh category. Yeah. Sorry, I don't yeah. mean to hijack the show, Friends. guys. This is the like only <laughs> chance. No, no. This is the only chance I got to talk to Jess, and she's like a really kind, nice, like interesting person, and I'm just you. you know trying to use my time well. And, and she's your wife's favorite competitor. So, you know, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We're watching, uh, you know, my father-in-law comes over. We're sitting there with our kids. My wife, she made food. It was very cute. My wife, my bless her. I love her so much. She made like a, it was, she made it like a little party and we're sitting down watching the promo. And my wife is sitting and looks at me and she goes, I'm, I'm rooting for Jess. And I'm like, okay, all right. Well, this is, <laughs> this is, this is nice. This is great. And she's like, I like her. She reminds me of myself. I was like, okay, good. Yeah. So relatable. Uh, very much so, yes. I will say this, Jess. The thing about you for me is of all the Schmodown competitors I think I've, I've watched, you are the one person I can never get a read if you know the answer or not. Like, really? I feel like I make the – Biggest faces when I'm like on the board, I'm like, mm, I don't know, like <laughs> writing something. <laughs> well, I mean, there'll be times where like they'll like you'll be like they'll ask a question, and I'm like, oh man, she doesn't know this, and then you just say the answer, and I'm like, where, where yeah. did that come from? I'm like, <laughs> yep, <laughs> a mystery. You are. You are. You're, you're. It was a little difficult. I'll, I'll say this: it was a, a little difficult to read you you know, personally uh, playing the match. If you guys watch the match back, there are, there are a couple times where I'm writing and I look up just to like check to see what Jess is doing. And, and it is, I said it, you know, uh, since apparently uh, Ellie Kemper is the, you know, princess of some like KKK, you know, debutante ball. Uh, and she is going to relinquish her title of the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I think you should be the unbreakable Jess Schloth because you were, <laughs> just fucking stone cold the whole time you did not yes. you were calm cool and collected and it was just, tough for me fun. i know yeah it's fun but like <laughs> i'm a hyper competitive person so i'm like yeah. i'm like all right let's do this i'm competitive in my own way it's like i really really wanted to win obviously but i was like but i if i freak out about the outcome then i won't be able to function so it's fair yeah Frankie, uh, getting on to the uh, what your strengths are, do you think that some of the psychopaths in the Schmodown are going to, like, take a screenshot of your, like, background and, like, analyze every single, like, movie figurine you have? So, like, I feel like that's something Bateman would do. <laughs> I mean, hey, man, maybe. If they if they can figure out a way to do that, all the power to them. I'll, I'll tilt it up a little bit so you're not looking at the floor. I would be – that would be awesome. But I, I think it's – I mean, if there was a Power Rangers movie slice, people would be in trouble. If you can't tell, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, both those movies, I would, I would crush. Uh, but, um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think people are going to be able to get a read for me. Um, you know, I, I guess I'll just leave it at that. I think it's, uh, I, I've done a blanket, you know, kind of well across you know, most of the stuff. So I don't think I've tipped a hat toward what I would consider to be my strengths or weaknesses. If I even have either of those, I did have strong I'm hunches here. on what were yours, but do you, do you want to put it in? I won't confirm nor deny, but no, <laughs> why not? You can do it. <laughs> okay, fine. I think, cause I remember watching a show I think you're on with Tom, it might have been this this show and you're on with Thomas and you were saying how the MCU if that was a thing. So I think Marvel was one and then your um excitement from the uh your five pointer. Um so like SNL movies are kind of like adjacent to that. So that was my other guess. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, in your first match 
uh, Frankie, I think you like you spun. Was it Jimmy Stewart? Was that what you spun? Or correct? Yeah. Something like that. And I was like shocked that you kept it, and then shocked at how well you did in it. So like, you definitely are, are still an enigma. I think as far as your strengths. My well, my first match, I originally spun eighties, uh, and oh, then right. spun again and got Jimmy Stewart. And then this match, I originally spun Stephen King, spun again, got Jody Foster. Okay, how 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 did you feel when you spun Jody Foster? Like, were you were Great. you comfortable? Were you were you ready to go? Okay. Yeah, uh, you know when I when I saw that wheel, I felt I think Jess said it too. Like, I felt great about that whole wheel. That's there why were, I liked that I got to go first, to be honest, because I was like, so much to choose from. You're welcome. <laughs> that's that's a uh, that's like a, a a bold not a bold move, but it's just like a bold way to look at it. Like, I don't care what I get; I'm happy with all of these. Like, that's a Dan Merle level like move. Like, <laughs> well, I will say, like, so my first match, I was more nervous about the wheel in that match, and um. When she's like, I was lucky she spun opponent's choice. So I got to choose first of what I didn't want from there. No one likes what right. these days. It's not like a, it's a first, a weird, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, so like I didn't, even though I spun opponent's choice, it was not fun. There was less of an option for that. So Yeah. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. But yeah, I, I I thought you did well. Like I think you even in that Beth match, you took a steal away in movie release dates, and then, um, and then you got opponents and did war too. So like that was tough because uh, you know I'll be honest, I watched your match with Beth quite a, quite a few times, you know, parsing through round one and two in particular, uh, because round three is it's just you know or you don't. You know, there's really, it doesn't matter the category. It's it's you do or you don't, and um. Again, you seem pretty like stone cold all the way through, uh, you know, and and unbreakable. So it was it was particularly tough to prepare uh, for facing you because uh, there there was, you know, what I had was was limited, and then it was like tough to read it, you know. Yeah. 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 I agree. Like trying to read Jess, like because there's like no reactions. Like she spins, tw spins like the wheel and it lands on something, and she doesn't seem like she's upset or happy or sad or indifferent. She seems indifferent to everything. Yeah, I watched <laughs> it back, and Kate was like, "Except like she's like, you know what?" Did and I was like, "Well, like, yeah, so I'm not like happy." I I feel like we'd get a better read of, of how you feel just by listening to Kate, you know, like yeah. Kate will come on and be like, <laughs> Jess, no. And like, you'd be like, okay, you know, like we might get a better read with her. Yeah, true. Um, so you guys, you know, round two, uh, Jess goes first, gets uh, 2010s, does really well, um, takes the lead. And then Frankie goes with, uh, with the, uh, with, uh, what is her name? Jody Foster. And Jess right off the back got the steal. Um, how are you feeling then, Jess, with the ste with the getting the steal as well? I knew it at when the question was asked and when I was like answering, I was like, what how do I make this like into a joke? And I couldn't think of anything because I was like, I know like <laughs> tough gun, but I was like, okay, <laughs> just say the answer. And then someone was like, she said B Maverick. I said no, I said that would be Maverick. Yeah. Fine. Yep. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna pick apart every single word you say. It's the Schmodown, of course. Like <laughs> but no, she got it wrong. Yeah. See? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh Frankie, how how did you feel after you know the rough start to, to the round two? Um, you know, I don't necessarily think it was a rough start. I got lucky because uh, she missed a one pointer uh, that I was yeah. able to steal during her series Would of questions. Would you have gotten that um, straight up, like straight up? I no, answered? straight up, no. That was that was a that was a tough question, but like I, I felt said, so dumb getting it wrong. No, I don't feel dumb. I mean, you know that that's <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's like too good to be true, you know, and it's like really is it like that much of a layup? But um. You know, so after after her taking the point back, I didn't I didn't feel bad at all, and then I um, 
yeah, the, the 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 other one I went to multiple choice for. I I was literally looking at the poster for it like a couple days earlier, and I was I, I see that poster again and again and again, and I I just couldn't pull it. So um, I felt I felt really good. You know, I didn't honestly. I I I left round one feeling great, and I I think, you know, even though I lost a point, I took a point from Jess, and going into round three, you know, tied up was pretty much where I expected we would be. To be honest with you. Yeah, I mean it was. I mean it was a great match. I mean, hundred percent. Like, yeah, I, it feels like every match this season has been a great match, but this was like just another level because you get the back and forth, the steals. Um, mm -hmm. We get tied heading into round three. Uh, round three is always weird to me because like round two can be very difficult. Like they, the level of difficulty can be higher than say round one. And then you almost like come back down to round three. Do you ever like second guess thinking that like? This can't be the answer. This is too easy, or something like that. In round three, uh, just um, no. <laughs> I think the two pointers in round three tend to be easier than the two pointers in round two because you can't go to multiple yeah. choice on it. Um, and so yeah, they're like one pointer, one point five. It depends on if you know the category. Sometimes there's a two pointer that like surprises people but i don't know or like a director question maybe something like that yeah yeah no i i tend to you know in round three as jess was saying it, it seems to be pretty a lot more straightforward you know i think that you know round three is uh mended and molded to be just like you know what you know it you know here it is if you got it you got it you don't you don't you know they're not going to put anything in there that might trip you up or something yeah. Like that young adult question, I and um, that is a, a bit of a tricky question, but I don't consider it a trick trick question. I know some people were saying that, um, you know, round three would have been just, you know, I haven't seen it, and I'm okay with saying that because my slice was 2010, so like I didn't see every single movie in 10 years <laughs> span, <laughs> so I didn't see that, and I thought it was because she's like immature, and I thought that's where the title came from, like she's, so I didn't know that's the plot of the movie. Apparently, if you've seen it, you'd know the answer. Well, yeah. Well, that, and it's that's extra it frustrating because of my favorite slice. <laughs> it's your what is that, your favorite slice, young adult? Are you confirming or denying? It, it's <laughs> obvious. Come on. I've said it. <laughs> There's someone else who um, we saw this week that enjoys that slice too. Oh, Ben Damon. Yeah. <laughs> ben Damon was never a young adult, so he doesn't like it. Yeah, he was, he was born. How old is this guy? He was born... 38 maybe again see i don't we were saying off air i don't know yeah. ages or differences in measurements or anything who well he, I was saying, I like his podcast, um, he famously like his brother gave him like a, a two two vhs tapes when he was like 11 years old one's like point break and one i can't remember what the other one was and then like his dad took him to see like memento when he was like 12 so he never saw like young yeah. adult films or like coming of age films none of those things like, <laughs> that's a weird movie to see when you're 12 I, I feel like that shouldn't be a thing yeah i mean it's a little uh... <laughs> it was a, it was a different time yeah. man it was a different time <laughs> movies were marketed at kids you know i it, it was very very different yeah it's yeah, definitely like came out they, when I was they, <laughs> There you go. Did you watch Inception when you were 12? I did, and I was very confused. <laughs> Wait, Inception when you were 12 years old? Yes. Wow. I think I was in Math. college when Inception came out. <laughs> Make me feel I won't old. I say how old I was when Inception came oh, out. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. The chat is asking a question. Uh, Brooklyn Pizza Place, I think is what it's called. Uh, is it Ray's? I think it's Ray's. It might be Ray's. I, I think know. it might be Ray's. I mean, New York, oh. your good pizza is a dime. You know, you get it anywhere. It's just a Where matter of 
Yeah, Any corner. best place, best place in the world. Nat knows us Queens know. boys know. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. What is it? Prince's Pizza's in Queen. I think that's one another one of those Christian spots that he loves so much. Why is my thing not working? All right. So, um, when you guys are headed to sudden death, are you uh, still feeling confident, or or uh, how are you feeling? I keep asking how you're feeling every round. That's my go-to question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess round three, I was shocked still. Sorry to go backwards, but with my three-pointer, I was like, I don't know how I came up with that, to be honest. But um, <laughs> Well, I do know how I guessed it, but I was like thinking all different um, choices before I got to that. But, that was a great poll. I was just watching and I was like, I, I, I full transparency didn't know the answer to that question. Not because I I've seen that movie plenty of times. I just, for some reason it wasn't registering and seeing you pull, you know, Benjamin button out. I was like, good on you. And then I, I honestly thought that you had round for uh, the, your five pointer too. Yeah, I should have. It wasn't, it was gettable, but it's fine. Yeah. Sometimes but, how question, questions are phrased, it like leads, like I go down a path of thinking that like I shouldn't have. Like I was stuck on Kyle Chandler because they said his name first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, should have gone with the oh, second yeah. name probably. I feel like I feel like the writers just take the name of a movie and come up with like 15 different ways to ask a question just about the name of the movie. You know, and, and, and then we'll, you know, because there there are some tricky like – that in particular was a tricky one. I uh, personally, I've never seen Carol. I uh, immediately after the match went and watched it just to be like, okay, <laughs> you know, so it doesn't happen, you know, next time uh, yeah. where, you know, questions like that to ask. And I, I, I don't get the opportunity to learn from our match, but uh, it, I was, I, that Stan and Ollie one was tough too, because I, I'd never <laughs> seen it. I heard about it. That's the one I believe it's with him and, oh, What's the guy's name? Um, uh, Coogan, Steve Coogan. Um, and I just, if they had asked it in any other way, I might've been able to pull it, but to put it, naming the director, no shot. I was getting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, yeah. Yep, Steve Coogan. That's the one. Yep. Oh, yeah, and then what, I, 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 I joked to my faction mates. I was like, Y'all got to listen in for my one joke of the match. Um, <laughs> so, like, be prepared. <laughs> and and I won't tell you when. And I see the comments, Justin. That, that's what I was referring to when I said with the romance question. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, um, it was a lot bigger in my head. And I want to watch <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's gonna kill. Prepare yourself, everyone. <laughs> That's funny. Again, it's the delivery. It's the it's the just delivery of it. it's like it just sounds like yeah. something you would say, and then you're like you you think back and you're like you have to like put it serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was that was quite funny. I think I got it. You got a chuckle from me. Fun <laughs> death of the. the boring Steven Spielberg movie. You both guessed boring Steven Spielberg movies. So good job on that. Um. <laughs> it's funny too, when you look at like the release dates, like I think I guess the one like right before it, you guess the one like right after it. We're like, ah, we both missed it like by one. Yeah, that was tough. The, the, the best way that I went about it is I, I just looked at Adam driver and I was like, all right, Adam driver, when has he been around for, you know, and then try to use that. And I just, I don't know why I couldn't pull Lincoln. I, again, you know, a movie I enjoy quite a bit. And I just, because Adam Driver's part in that movie is like, it's, it's blink and you miss it. So I, I slept and missed. I didn't see any of it. <laughs> <laughs> you really were the sleeper on that one. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you learned through osmosis? Is that, is that the secret to Jess? <laughs> Just learning is a thing. I just learned that in class the other day, but I don't think sleeping applies to that. <laughs> but if you're like not trying uh, to remember something, you might still. But I, I have my tricks that I learned when I, you know, 
back in college and took psychology classes, but I will never, I will never share them because I don't want to strengthen my competitors because when Jess and I meet in a match down the road again, uh, I don't want her to steal my tactics. You think you're, I don't know. <laughs> You're like one psychology class that you took. <laughs> yes, me, the person <laughs> that took. Uh, I majored in psychology. Three, I know, I, I know, I know. Before. Exactly, that's the point. As me, the person that took three. It's like, but I won't class. tell you. Is good. <laughs> He's not going to tell the girl that's literally trying to do it for a living. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, have I'm you being used mean your right now. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> How much of your psychology have you, your your psychology have you used, Jess, in your Schmodown career so far? In your two matches, <laughs> it's weird. I think it's like the opposite. And like, I don't as much use. It's like when I'm in class, I go, "Oh, like that's why this happens." Like I th I use like Schmodown examples to like conceptualize it for me to like learn the material versus like okay. applying them in the Schmodown itself. <laughs> That makes sense. I don't know. If that you got to like hyper analyze your opponents and then use it in the promos and like <laughs> destroy them somehow. <laughs> well, that's what she did with me. I mean, Jesus Christ. She, she, she saw the fragility of my loud over the top personality and decided to just completely undercut me and just, well, there was no way me. that I was going to like out like trash talk. You know? <laughs> oh, you did though. <laughs> You did. That's the thing is you said four words and it was better than my 4,000. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. I, I, I really like that's another thing I really liked about this match. It's kind of like the difference between um, not even your guys' characters, just your guys' demeanors. Because Frankie is very yeah. much like hard on his sleeve, New York. Like, you know what he's thinking at all times. And like I said with Jess, it's like, I never know what she's thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I, those I are my favorite kind of matches good. because, like, I really like the contrast of personalities. Like, we just saw last week with uh, Saul and Greg Alba how they're so different. I really like mm -hmm. when, like, people have different personalities and it's as close as it is. Oh, I, I won't give away who told me this, and it's not someone from my faction, but when the match was announced, uh, I had people, a couple people in particular, again, not from my faction, oddly enough, reach out to me and they were like, listen, if you just talk so much shit during this match, you are going to get in her head and you're going to be able. And I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then who is this? Uh, don't worry about who it is. <laughs> don't worry. But maybe I'll tell you offline one day. But, um, and then we start the match and she is just like, Hi everyone! Like, let's have a good match. And I'm like, I can't fucking say anything to this girl. I'm gonna feel like a piece of shit. And she was just, she came in and she was calm, cool, and collected. And again, unbreakable. Even if I would have started just rambling off, just garbage, it wouldn't have worked. She kept her composure. She didn't get tripped up after questions that, you know, the the questions she missed in round one. And and I, I listen. I I, the animal can be a lot of things, but. A douchebag is not one of them, and I wasn't going to turn into that for the match. Okay, can I make a guess who who was? Uh, I will not confirm nor deny any guess that you uh, you know give. Okay, we just have well, to read your face very close. I am. Oh, well, she's there. She's therapizing me. She's <laughs> apologizing me right now. So I, I'm pretty sure it was Ethan Irwin because that guy loves to shit talk people. That guy's no, like, I'm not in connection. <laughs> No. By the way, Ethan is fucking hysterical. Just want to make <laughs> oh, that hilarious. very clear. This dude is a riot. But no, everyone from my faction during uh, you know, our study sessions were like, listen, just just play your game. Don't worry about it. There was someone else from another unnamed faction wow. that said to me, Gucci. like, yo, listen. Definitely Gucci. Trying to think just, of the people who like gossip. Uh, I hey, I keep my head out of the the Schmodown gossip, so I don't. I'm not a part of that whatsoever. Uh, but no, someone hit me up, and they were like, "No, no, no." I know, I know you're not saying that, but like, uh, <laughs> someone was just like, "Listen, just, just, just talk shit, just talk shit, and you'll be good." And I was like, "Okay," and I didn't talk shit. <laughs> I feel like, if and, you had, and it like, was a great I, match. Yeah, great match. It really was. I feel like I, you could yeah. talk shit. Like you could have talked shit for like five minutes, and at the end, Jess would have been like. That's nice. <laughs> that would have been like, <laughs> yeah. 
it's infuriating <laughs> because I was, to be i was very unaware of what you were doing like like that's why like i call repeat too early because i'm just like not looking like over there yeah like, no that's how that's how you you know any of us loud dumb idiots uh if you just don't give us any response that's it. We have nothing to go on. You know, take one of what's the, the the triangle of a fire. Take one of those pieces of the fire, the heat away, or the accelerant, or the oxygen, and it dies. And Jess was just like, okay. And it's like, well, how do you respond to that? <laughs> yeah, right. I, well, I mean, you know. you really, especially after she destroyed you in the promo, like you can't really. <laughs> nothing you could do there. Yeah. Uh, we, we get to the end, and uh, we had the great colleague. Qu Is he breaking up for, for anyone Jess. else? We'll yeah. never forget <laughs> the great colleague. The Belford is breaking up. Belford. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Um, so we got we got to the final question. It was the uh, the great colleague question, unfortunately, for Jess, um, who will now never forget the great colleague. Um, what a terrible, terrible wrestler to lose your so bad. match yeah, on. I'm writing my list of <laughs> random actors and first things Claire Forlani, and now it's Green Gully or whatever. <laughs> equal, equal. They're equal in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Frankie, are you uh, are you looking forward to possibly? I mean, the, the hype heading now is is Rick Raddis. Are you uh, are you looking forward to possibly facing Rick Raddis or? Um, you know, define looking forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to anyone I get the opportunity to play next. Uh, I think uh, you know, over there at the exchange, they kind of like to run their mouths and draw attention to themselves and just just. You, they're, they're all about the flash, the pomp, the circumstance, you know, the fireworks in your face. And, uh, you know, again, same shit happened with, with Lomas. Lomas was out there doing his cryptic weird tweets, tweeting at Chips Ahoy and tweeting at, you know, the University of Akron or some weird place. Mm -hmm. And he's just trying to make a name for himself. I get that. And, you know, Radis also trying to make a name for himself. I get that. It's cute, but I'm not. I'm not the one to try that with. I'm not. I I, I did it with Lomas, you know. And uh, if Radis wants to try to play games and try to bark, he's gonna have to bark a lot louder than me. And uh, I I can bark a little bit. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a, a completely different. Uh, to go from Jess to Rick Radis is gonna be <laughs> a yeah. weird transition. Well, you succeeding will look make me look better too. So, and, well, and you, yes, and you succeeding when you succeed, you will make me look better. So, I mean, I, you you got a fan in me, Jess. I'm not unless you play someone in the suspects. Then I I'm sorry, I need a plan against you. I yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a, uh, a, a yeah, we got a super chat, chat here from Austin. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Kelsey. Okay. Uh, I only recognize one Frankie in the Schmodown, and his last name is Numbus. So. That's, yeah, that's his last name, definitely. Yes, that's it. That's it. Just don't worry about his actual right. name. Just Numbus. <laughs> that's all we need. Oh, uh, yeah, legally definitely. changed recently. Uh, Y'all didn't hear that. Yeah. Send in the paperwork recently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I don't know about that. I know Brad Gilmore is actually officially the boat now. That's officially on his license. Yeah. It's uh... <laughs> If he gets a boat, uh, will he name it Brad? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That yes, he Brad. Will. I'm sorry. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. That was her one joke of the <laughs> show. See you later, you folks. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to warn people, Jess, before you try. <laughs> Uh, Jess, who who do you want to call out for your next match? Come on, call somebody out. Do something. Drop an f bomb while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know but I can't. Um, I don't. I don't know who I'll play next. Um, I'm curious to see how tournament spots how they'll get um, handed out and who and who will get 
it's a lot of um, scenarios that can happen. So that will be interesting. Maybe I'll play. I don't know. Maybe before then. We'll see. Who would you want to play next if you could choose anybody in the Schmodown to play? This question, it's hard to answer because it's like, who do I want to play? Because I think I'll beat them. Who do I want to play? Because it'll be fun. <laughs> the first one. I want to hear the first one. The first <laughs> one, yes. Definitely the first one. And even now, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I don't think about this. I just like see what's in front of me. All right, we gotta like we gotta like uh, dream match up here for Jess. We gotta like we gotta like matchmaker here for this. For, for a match for Jess. Who should Jess play next, guys? Uh, I think she should play Dan Merle because I said back <laughs> yeah. in the year that Jess will be a champion by October. And I feel I like I'm disappointed to you, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at uh, Nat's fantasy team, he's used to disappointment by now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, fantasy's not going great for me, all right? Mark and Drake just ups and decides to retire putting his personal professional life before my fantasy team. It, not, everything's going wrong. But I, I still believe Jess is going to be a champion by October. You can do it. I, I believe it. Uh, yeah, I'm in the last. Thanks, Call to Action Podcast, whoever wrote that. Appreciate that. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, I, I'm looking up. I'm just looking up a list of people here, and I'm trying to think. But, you know – I think it, it is it is apparent how uh, the the juxtaposition between my personality and Jess's was just stellar, and seeing her yeah. play someone like Video Drew, I would popcorn Ooh. in hand. I would sit down and watch that any day. I remember I said that like beginning this. I think I was here, and then you were like, uh, <laughs> like okay, never mind, didn't say it. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> that would be, I would like she to might be able to get in my head, possibly. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, I think if you faced, uh, what's his name, Down downtown Griffey Nooms, that would be a fun match. <laughs> That's scary, though. <laughs> I'm a fan of his podcast, so like, I'm aware a little. So you've been psychoanalyzing him for years then as a fan of his podcast. Yes, good, good. <laughs> she'll no, she'll like I go in, used it as a study method. So. She'll like she'll like go into a match with someone and like be like she'll like find some like small little tick that just makes them lose their mind. She's gonna she's gonna psychoanalyze someone in one of these matches and it's gonna ruin their like whole ability to play a match. She'll <laughs> go in and she'll just be like, Oh, so um How's your relationship with your dad? And then the match will start, and then they'll just be ruined completely. <laughs> They're just in tears, like as they come back from the, Some, like, from the Winter program. Soldier thing, where like I know like the words that'll just like make them turn yes, off. Yes, but exactly. it's like instead of like being a killer, it's like your brain stops working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Her first seven answers of the round are, are all wrong, but they're, they're trigger words for the person. <laughs> yes. <quit> in round <laughs> two. Homecoming. Oh. Sleeper. December. <laughs> I mean, there you go. Um, oh, man. Yeah, it's Kelsey. as much as I like playing rookie, fellow rookies, um, I'm looking forward to like all of us being like intertwined with the like existing play or like the veterans. Um, Cause it's a different dynamic, you know? Cause like they might have experience, but we have like still not as much like game tape and like quantifiable like strengths and weaknesses. So. Yeah. hundred percent. Less to psychoanalyze on the on the rookies. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants to get her teeth into psychoanalyzing someone. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I'm not like Freud. I don't know how we came to be this. <laughs> Listen, you you're studying psychology in one way or another. You are Freud now. You are Freud. You are. Yeah. 
<laughs> you are every other, you know, just like absolutely just like incredibly talented psychologist who's going to come in here and just pick people apart brain and cell by brain cell. I mean, we can all, that's the only psychologist that the rest of us know is Freud. So, uh, we don't, we don't, that's the only references we got. We don't have anything else. That's right. There's some Bandura, um, you know, there's a Mr. Carl Young or Jung. I don't know how to pronounce oh. his last name, but I read it a lot. You could be making up these names. I would never know. <laughs> yeah, you could really, like, <laughs> Um, this is the great Bandura, the I think it was he trained a kid to like be afraid of of a white rat um, through operant conditioning, and then he started getting afraid. It was kind of you know ethically questionable. Very, oh it's God. not great. Pavlov. Sorry. I know Pavlov. Oh yeah. Pavlov oh was not oh actually God. a psychologist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you just give me that one, please. <laughs> He just accidentally oh, stumbled on that. <laughs> All right, real quick, we did get a, a super chat in. Let me pull it up on the screen if it will pull up. There. Uh, from Ben Rayner. Hey guys, great match, great week of matches. Great match, Frankie and Jess. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank super you. chat. Yeah, that says it all. Ben Rayner, well done. Man, a few words, but he said it all. <laughs> Now you got more fantasy update. What's up? We haven't had one in a while. What's going on? Listen, with that? Come on, come on. Now. Tell us, tell us I, how it's going. I know people look forward to the fantasy update, but I am just shitting the bed completely. I'm in the last place. I think Paul has like three times my score, and I'm gonna be honest. I don't really feel like doing a fantasy update, but also because I have also <laughs> forgetting, and no one's re reminded me. Uh, I could do one right now if you want. I, I just make it up on the spot. Who has? Wait, I so I mean. Who has Jess and I on their fantasy team? I have Jess. Danny Cost has you. Way to go, Danny. Yeah, I didn't help out there. I'm sorry. No, uh, it's okay. What it's were okay. y'all's favorite like moments of the whole week? I'll say. It's fantastic. <gasps> so many. This this was great. My joke I mean, if you want. I mean, I'll say that. <laughs> 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 I love I think, Adam Witt as the like manager of Bateman. Like everything with Adam Witt was great. Adam was the best. Yeah, I, I'd probably say Adam Witt too. He's great. Yeah, I think I think just his execution and defense of or prosecution, however you'd like to say, of the 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 challenge. Say what you want about the actual. You know, you can argue about the challenge itself, the outcome, and what caused the challenge, but. I think him going in there speaking as clearly as he did, as well as he did, you know, I don't think anyone has ever thought Adam Witt was not a smart person, but he definitely reminded people that he's well spoken. And uh, I, I really like those are the moments that I know that they stir up some some controversy, but I, I like them because I, I do as a sports fan, I like kind of seeing like the inner workings and that was something that was really cool. I mean, he saw the opportunity I said that said this a couple nights ago on um let's get ready but like you know you use the tools you have and if that is an option to use it what's the worst that's gonna happen is you lose like you were losing at that yeah. point anyways so mm -hmm. like and then i feel better about it being upheld because the result still was what it was so like he had another chance and that was great but then even still won, so one. Ball don't lie. The yeah. ball, ball don't, don't lie. lie. So, like <laughs> makes you feel better about it because then you can't say it was because of that. Yeah, it's I feel like they poked moment. the bear a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead, Kelsey. I was, I was saying my favorite moment. It's it's kind of funny. I didn't get to watch the live match live, so I watched it this morning. And as a fan, turning on that and seeing that it's super duper longer than you feel like a match that's that many round should be so they're like what happened <laughs> yeah so i have participation for that super long challenge so i, I like that i'm like wait why is this match so long I'm unless sure. it's like a player whose interviews take like very long <laughs> right. i found that my matches are kind of short because i think at the beginning i'm just like y'all don't need to like <laughs> every time i show people my matches i'm like you can skip forward through this part <laughs> i <laughs> i i don't know if anyone else is like this but i hate uh, watching myself back in anything 
Uh, I, it, it, it makes me very uncomfortable. And just as you kind of said earlier, like I am my own biggest critic. So I sit there and I'm like, I sound like an idiot. I look like an idiot. Why did I say that the way I said it? Why did I blah, 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 blah. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like to talk, but I just kind of just like talk and like, I'll never watch it. I'm like Johnny Depp in the way with his movies, at least, you know, he doesn't, <laughs> yikes. Uh, he doesn't watch any of his movies and, and I'm definitely like that in that regard. Yeah. I do not watch anything I'm in. I like to watch the matches, but like the interview parts, not as much a fan of that. Cause I'm proud of like how I did answering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I like you both were, there was no, there was no question where I was like, um, that I felt like you guys should have gotten it. Like it was so, it was like an easy question that you missed or anything like that. So, I mean, I, that's always like, I feel like that's the goal in the showdown is to get the questions right that you should get right. There's going to be questions. You're just not going to know it's, unless you're Frankie, you've seen every single movie ever made. Like you said, um, <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna get every question. Yeah, even with the Tropic Thunder question, I thought uh, Nacho Libre was a really good guess. So, thank you. I yeah, the, I think Jay Bearshell was the name that I missed completely. Like that would have helped me a little. And what was I gonna say? I'm proud that I didn't. The frustrating thing playing in a match is when you know the answer and you can't pull their name. Like I yeah. almost did it with Cameron Diaz because I was like kind of like little um, stumbled, like because I missed two in a row. I was like, okay, you're gonna get this one, and then I was like, you know the answer. What's the answer? I wrote a C, and then I was like, rest of the name, please, brain, <laughs> and I got to it eventually, which is nice. And then the, when you just don't know an answer, you don't know an answer. Like, yeah. That's how it was with Annabelle. We got the, the demonic doll question in the Conjuring franchise. And I was like, oh, and it like came to me after a sec. And I was like, thank God, because if I would have missed that, I would have been uh, very upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's his strength. His strength is the Conjuring franchise. Back my strength is my strength is uh, demonic dolls named after like 1820s popular white women names. <laughs> it's very specific. It is. Is there a movie I'm called Edith? Like there might be a movie called Edith. <laughs> there might be. Edith, Emma, you know, Agatha. I got them all. It's funny talking about like um, you know, like uh like knowing an answer but you can't pull it. There uh going around on like the internet right now is there's like a, a quiz and it's all of like the the that thing acts and it's like the all the people you know Okay. And I was doing that the other day, and this this is hurting my brain because I should know who all these people are, and I don't know half of them. It's like the, the Stephen Tobolowskis of the world, and the uh, mm. oh yeah. Never, I was just say everyone just <laughs> nod, everyone just nod. <laughs> I know who that is for sure. I don't know if Jess can. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Jess can attest to this. I have a feeling she can, but like. It, being a part of the Schmodown has changed the way I watch stuff now mm -hmm. and changed the way I like, even like something in passing, like my, my, my son the other day was watching, um, what was he watching? He was watching some garbage animated movie, uh, of, uh, no, uh, Norm of the North. And I was just like, I need to remember this. I need to like, and I'm sitting there and I'm like burning my eyes, like watching this absolutely awful movie. And I'm just like trying to take in like who directed it, who's in it, what year did it come out? You know? And it's just completely changed the way that I view some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, my tweet the other night, I was like, I couldn't go to sleep because I did change it. The real <laughs> thing I was thinking of Jeff Bridges, but I was like, I'm a, uh, Right, Felipe, Felipe. Like a funnier name, <laughs> so that's why I did that. So. But like, yeah, just re like my brain will be like, like Jonathan Demi, <laughs> like you just like remember <laughs> it. I don't know, but yeah, it's, it's well, fun. Even as a fan, like even as a fan, it's changed the way I watch because I will be watching a movie and I'm like, ooh, that's a three point question. Oh, ooh, that's mm -hmm. a five point question. <laughs> I'm not even like paying attention to the movie anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know if, if Jess is like this, but like I've I've like legitimately had like schmodown nightmares. My wife actually had a schmodown nightmare last night, which was very strange, and I will tell you guys off air because it's uh, like it's just it's very weird. But um, like I'll like 
vividly be like losing sleep because I can't pull the name of one person. And I'm, I did uh, and have like, one. I was like trying to remember. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I, I remember like I had, it wasn't like a nightmare, but I was like in my sleep re- dreaming and like, I couldn't pull like something I should know, you know, and, and it was just driving me absolutely nuts. Mine was like, your match is tomorrow. And like, you didn't know about it. <laughs> that's what mine was. <laughs> Because <laughs> it takes uh, like some time to like. Yeah, we got another super chat from Ben Rayner. Uh, which studio do you like better, Pixar or Ghibli? Don't make me choose. I can't make an informed decision on this. Like, to be honest, um, like I keep. I've been doing these polls on Twitter, and like, there's movies like I'm really interested in seeing, and then there's some that are like. I should have seen this by now, so I'll like put it in. And the I should have seen by now movies keep winning. And then I'm like, but I like kind of wanted to watch, like, you know, and I've been including all of those. And uh yeah, so I'll get to it eventually. So I'm I've seen all the Pixar movies, so default answer is that because I haven't seen Studio Ghibli movies. I'll get to it eventually, because I like animation, but we'll see. Ditto. I can't. Uh, I'm in the exact same boat. I, if it becomes I think it's a slice, like, I will definitely watch. <laughs> for for me, it's like it depends on like my mood and like what I want to watch. Like as far as like, do I want like a fun popcorn, you know, movie? It's usually a Pixar movie. If it's like something interesting and thought provoking, it's definitely gonna be Ghibli. But yeah, I I feel like they're very much on the same level where. There are some like man movies like Cars 2 and Ghibli with the latest one, the latest one that came out. And I feel like they're the top of both of them are just so good. Like Toy Story 3 and Coco made me cry every time. But Grave of the Fireflies just hits different. Like it, I've never cried as much as I have watching that movie. But I have to admit, and and I might I might get a little bit of you know blowback for this, but at least from what I've seen on the internet, um, and particularly like Twitter, the people that are fans of Studio Ghibli are kind of gatekeepery uh, in the same way that like Star Trek fans are also a little gatekeepery. And I kind of, uh, at least my personal experience, I'm sure there are people out there that don't do this. Like it's like the 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 Snyder Cut fans, you know. It's like anytime you mention, uh, you know, an animated movie. It's like, oh, well, have you seen, uh, you know, uh, Totoro? You know, oh, my God, have you seen? And it's like, dude, like just fucking chill out, you know? And, yeah. and um, I have, but they I, are, that is a word <laughs> to use. Um, but they, they, in my experience, it, it's been one of those fandoms that even though they want people to enjoy the movies with them, because that's really what it is. When you're a fan of something, mm-hmm. you want other people to enjoy it too. It is a little, a little smidge gatekeepery. It's it's almost like uh, for me it's like like Star Wars. It's not enough to like Star Wars. You have to like the right Star Wars, and that's like how kind of like Studio Ghibli can be. Like they're like, oh, you like Studio Ghibli? Just Princess Mononoke. Like that's all you like, right? That's all you, you don't know or any like, other one. Yeah, like which one's your favorite? You also get judged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I haven't yeah. seen like, it. So yeah, well, it's 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 you know the those those people on the internet. Uh, that are like, oh, they meet a girl that's a fan of football. Okay, name five quarterbacks, you know? And it's like, <laughs> dude, shut up. Like, just let people just kind of do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Pixar and that, I offend everybody because I don't really like either of them. So I. And that's fine. Well, I also don't <laughs> like what you like. I'm, really mad. Yeah. I'm not it's a big fan of Spielberg. Book. I'll say that to make <gasps> you feel better. Whoever plays Jess <laughs> next. Can, Whoever plays I Jess can, next. Time stamp. Time stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my freaking sudden death question. True. Okay, I, mean, I, I always say, who school, are those movies but... targeted for, or like who majority, you know, age and gender? Who's who's liking those movies? Is it me? Probably not. <laughs> I, I don't like. I was not a dinosaur kid. Sorry. Um, but if they made if they made a Jurassic just... Park, if they made a version of Jurassic Park with all sloths, you would be like, <laughs> oh my god, who would <laughs> watch, watch that? They have sloth sanctuaries. It, it would be like you know, like <gasps> welcome to you know 
Slothassic Park, and it's like, da -da -da, and it's just a sloth, just like slowly crawling across the branch. <laughs> but like a mutated, like giant one or something. <laughs> the big music playing. I I'd watch that. They're like, the sloth got loose. It's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just made it. <laughs> Someone needs to someone needs to put together a cut of like iconic Jurassic Park scenes. Just replace the dinosaurs with sloths and like adjust the timing. I've seen photos of like photoshopped with ferrets. I don't know if y'all have seen that where they replace the dinosaurs with ferrets, and it's That's hilarious. Terrifying. I love it. Actually, terrifying. They're like hiding. That would be you know, click it, it's like a giant ferret. <laughs> that'd be my, my nightmare. My ferrets are uh, terrifying creatures. Sorry to get us off track there. Real off track. <laughs> I like it. I like it. We love off track here at, at CQA. That's what we're release the sloth cut as Danny cut. <laughs> release the sloth cut. It's nine it's hours long. We'll get the hashtag going. People will be super confused. It's just a lot of slow motion. It's, nine hours. <laughs> it's just Wayne Wayne Knight in a car with the Barbasol thing and you know the the Dilophosaurus or whatever it's called that opens its thing and spits at him. It's just a sloth that just slowly like reaches at him with a claw and he's just screaming the whole time. In case anyone's just, curious, my favorite scared. sloth in a movie is uh Belt from the Crits. Mm -hmm. Not Flash from okay. uh Zootopia? No. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Wow. Da, da, da. Come on. <laughs> That's a hot take. Yeah, especially not Sid either. Yeah, Sid Sid is he he's a negative stereotype on slots. We can agree upon that. <laughs> we need better slot representation fast. in cinema, please. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for slots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, we should do a tier list of the cheer ranking of sloths. There's not that cinema. many. We said them all. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Would uh, like uh, uh, Jess? Would you enemies? react? I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, Billy. I think you're a little like the time no, is a little ahead. messed up. But would you react? Like, did you ever see on? Uh, I, uh, I won't. I won't say she who shall not be named. But there was a certain daytime talk show host who had Kristen Bell on and have you seen Kristen Bell's response to uh, seeing a sloth for the first time would that be your yes. response if you were just hanging with sloths I don't know because I've never met one in person I'm curious she was like I've a blubbering mess a blubbering mess <laughs> yeah probably not that but I'd be like oh my gosh like I, <laughs> you know like I mean I'm a big dog person too probably how I talk to a dog do <laughs> a slice that's a good one yeah, so like three movies. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, like, <laughs> there's no real slots in movies, right? Also, the Goonies isn't going to be in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent. <laughs> That's the best slop in film by far, 100%, is from the Goonies, yes. <laughs> oh. I just Googled sloths in movies and literally only Ice Age and Zootopia have come up. They don't even got the cruise there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Just yes, respectful. Google Cannot the trust ball. the internet. That is, that's un unfortunate. I, yeah. I try to like find like, um, gifs, drifts. I always say gifs first, but I think people don't agree with me. Um, of like Fuck Bell and I can't ever find him. Like there's not enough. Because I was specifically on Twitter before I was like only sloth reactions <laughs> like to your like trash talking. Yes, you were. And, That's right. And I was trying to find a good sloth one and I, I mean a good belt one and, I, and there was like none. Yeah, I tend to. That's I. Uh, how how funny that I responded to you with a Bill Goldberg gif. And uh, that ended up being the, the deciding blow in the match with Ethan and Ben. I was like, that's not the same one that was in ours. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think there are. If there are any gifts of the great Holly, it's him being a big dumb idiot and falling over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just tearing the great Kali apart. He deserves it. The Punjabi prison it. match. That's, that's the, the Hall of Famer you're talking about. Remember the kiss cam? 
I think. Oh my God, with Beth Phoenix, I yeah. think. Oh, I think we need. So Jess, I think as a result of this match, um, your thing now needs to be. We're gonna curate a list of just great Kali matches for you, <laughs> and give them to you. Gift them to you, and uh, you just let us know how you feel afterward. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my extra time. I will be mad. Yes, in grad school. Forget all your grad school, okay? That's Focus right, on yeah. the great colleague. <laughs> grad school comes and goes, okay? How the long would colleague. you say a match is, like, in wrestling? I mean, it's a great colleague, about eight minutes. Tops. Yeah, tops. Yeah. That's all he could go. Yeah. It's like, is that short? I literally have no concept. Eight minutes is pretty short. I mean, that is very yes. short. Dad uh, is also, a he is wrestling. Like, off of wrestling. He just moves really slowly, and then he like kind of like moves his arm up and 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 hits someone with it very slowly. That's that's <laughs> very pretty slowly. much it. very. I was slowly. just gonna say good, my good. interest in wrestling. Like I'm family of all girls, and my dad is a high school wrestling coach. So like we don't speak of that <laughs> in our house, you know. <laughs> It's not the, real. Uh, this, the sports entertainment aspect of it. <laughs> so hey, there's some. There's, uh, there's legitimate wrestlers in there. Kurt Angle was an yeah. Olympic gold medalist. Uh, Brock Lesnar was a national wrestling champion at the University of Minnesota. Uh, mm -hmm. Shelton Benjamin. I'm sure, but not University that he would know that. That might have a Ziggler, Xavier Woods, Cody Rhodes. Kind of, kind of frozen. Yeah. I always think it's me, and then so I just like don't say. Anything. That's what I do too. I like wait because I'm like, Billy <laughs> Oh, uh, just just let Billy go. Just let him keep naming. No, it's always me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, <laughs> uh, where where can we find you guys, uh, Jess? Where can we find you? Um, you can find me on Twitter, I guess. It's just my name, at Jessica Schultz, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. Um, follow me on Letterboxd. I'm almost to 100 followers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't – my opinions are strange, so you may not um, enjoy them. But I find that I'm funny, and I write little things. So that made a lot of sense. <laughs> I like the little, the end, the, the right little things. I didn't know if that meant like the length or like. Just like yeah, I usually keep my thoughts under three sentences. There you Not go. Quick and to the point. I mean, you know, that, that does the trick. And it's uh, on my Twitter. Frank, you? <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at FAlvarez8085. And then uh, find me on Instagram and Twitch at the Frank. Alvarez, and then I co-host a comedy. Uh, comedy. I was gonna say comedy podcast. Listen to me. <laughs> uh, 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 a comedy podcast uh, with my friend Joe uh, called The Basement Yard. So if you guys can check that out, it's a good time. Awesome. I love comedy. <laughs> comedy podcast. You know, it's a great time. <laughs> you should make that a T-shirt. One hundred percent. I like. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and before yeah, I, I know. Oh, yeah. before uh, we get out of here, I just want to thank Jess. That was a really, really great match, and uh, I'm really excited to see what you got going on next. I, uh, you. you're one hell. You are, and will continue to be one hell of a competitor. And it was a, a really, really good time playing you. Same goes to you as well. Thank you. You said it a lot nicer, that so works. I won't try to. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why she's smart. She just cuts it off where it is, and that's it. <laughs> True. Um, I'm concise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, think, I, think it, I think it's my turn uh, to plug now. Where can you find me? Um, tomorrow you can find me on After the National Report with the Wonderful Megs, where we will be breaking down all of the past week's matches and going deep diving into those thick, nasty stats. A lot of stats. You can also find me on Twitch, Twitch Tuesdays, or over every week, right there, 6 p.m. Uh, with my co-host Dylan Camacho, you can also find me on No Chill, which I understand you you're expecting an episode this month. Unfortunately, we can't make that happen because everyone's busy. 
or they're, they know what we're doing and they don't want to come on. So we, we're probably going to double up on July episodes. And we got some great guests coming up. So be on the lookout for that. If you don't know what it is, it's basically between two ferns, but with Schmodown competitors. And it's hilarious. It's the funniest show I've I've ever been a part of. So please check that out. 100%. Kelsey, where can we find you? Uh, all right. right, let's. Here's the list. Okay. You can find me at KelseyKins90 on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Call to Action Podcast oh. every other Sunday now. Um, also, when we bring Chill back, I will be making appearances there. Uh, every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, I am on Show Me the Money talking about Loki. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific, I am on Synfanatics talking about Loki. And every Thursday at 7 to 8-ish p.m. Pacific, I am on uh, Jesse Swift's uh, Flick and Reels show talking about Loki. So excited to oh, talk with people. Is, is that it? Is that all it goes? <laughs> That's all the confirmed, yes. That's all? <laughs> I just want to say hi, Brad. Uh, before we get out I of here, see, see you coming. Brad, no more than that. Yeah. Brad. Didn't say hi to Frank. Very nice wow. words. Yeah, what is that? What is that? I watched, that? Uh, I watched uh, Rundown. I watch it every week, basically, sometimes. Especially if they're talking about me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Brad, you can get his book. Um, the the uh, the oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of his book. It, it, don't even the, say it. Don't even say it. He didn't say hi to me. Don't say the goddamn book. <laughs> <laughs> I have a signed copy of his book. Um, you won. Uh, but yeah, um, it's fine. Let but also, before this. we go, um, one of the big news this past week uh, in the Schmodown world was um, our good friend. Uh, Mr. Kevin Smets uh, put out his diagnosis, and it was amazing news. Um, so shout out to Kevin Smets. We're thinking of you, brother. Uh, keep fighting and keep doing what you're doing, and eventually you will be back in the Schmodown where you belong. Uh, we love you, brother. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can find me at Mr. Billy Belford on Twitter. You can find me here most Sundays. Um, there's we, we linked Brad's book in the <laughs> – in the chat if you want brad's book get it get brad's book even though he didn't say hi to frankie um <laughs> you can find me most sundays here on call to action live for uh call to call live um but yeah thank you thank you so much to uh jess and frankie for coming on and breaking down their match and uh it's always a pleasure to have both of you on the show and the next time you, you guys face each other we'll have to have you back on and definitely before that next I'll time when yes. we don't face each other. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I will come on whenever you guys would like me to come on. Next time, uh, next time, Jess and I face each other, it'll be in person, and I guarantee she will punch me in the face before our match. <laughs> <laughs> she will. What if she like? That would be like, my right first time match. ever. So <laughs> I can just see like right before the match, she just like like cusses you out, like just. <laughs> and it was, like, I'm telling you right now, out. Jess. That would be if you the next person that you play. If you do that, it's a guaranteed win because it'll be coming straight out of left field. Do it off the air so no one sees I will it. I have to practice it multiple times. I'll, I'll write. Well, I'm, <laughs> listen, you, if 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 you need help, you let me know. But you got plenty of people in your faction that will be able to put something great together for you, and I know that you got it in there somewhere. That's her. That's her den training session. Is her just practicing cussing people out? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bit, bitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up to someone and whisper in their ear, I'll fucking destroy you. Yeah. That's gonna drop the entire game. <laughs> See, that's good because no one else will know. <laughs> yeah, and no one would ever believe it. <laughs> you should be like, hey, oh, let's gaslight them. You should be like, hey, let's let's you know, let's talk, you know, let's FaceTime and like just like say good luck to each other and they pick up and just like you're fucking dead. And then just <laughs> hang up and don't talk to them. Uh, we need this to happen, please. Uh, but thank you, everyone in the chat, for joining us tonight. Um, uh, we'll be back again next Sunday, I believe, with uh, myself and some other people. Who knows? You never know what to call live. Um, not Kelsey, though. No, not, not Kelsey. Me. She'll be too busy watching Loki again for the 47th time that week. Um, <laughs> but thanks, everybody. We will see you thank all you. next time. And... Uh, have a great night. Put this button here somehow. There it is.